Does Coker ketchup work best to clean up those metal detecting coins? Stick around and you're going to find out. Good morning all you YouTube detectorists and welcome back to 5280 Adventures. It's the end of the metal detecting season and I've got a container full of pennies uh, that I've dug out of the ground and now it's time to clean all of those coins, turn them back into the bank and buy more metal detecting equipment, right? So today we're going to do an experiment. Uh, I've had lots of comments about different techniques, different uh, ingredients, different chemicals, things that you, you guys use on all of your coins to clean them at the end of the season. So what we're going to do today is we're going to battle. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Two different products against each other and see which one is better to clean up all of those nasty pennies. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys use to clean your clad coins. I'm very interested to know uh, because I want to do some more experiments and find out what works the best, what doesn't work, just like we're doing in this experiment. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys use. We're balling on a budget today. Alright, so the two ingredients that are going head to head, as you guys already know from the title of this video, is we've got uh, some Hunt's tomato ketchup and we have Coca-Cola. And what we're going to do is we're going to split them up uh, with a handful of pennies. Uh, and the twist on this one is we're actually going to put it in the rock tumbler and let them uh, agitate at the same exact times. And then we'll get them all cleaned up and see which one actually looks better after the fact. So the rock tumbler we're using is a Chicago Electric Power Tools Dual Drum uh, Rotary Rock Tumbler. I picked this up at Harbor Freight for like 50 bucks a couple years ago. I've used this continuously to clean up all my clad. It works fantastic. The really cool thing that I like about it is the two drums so you can clean up your pennies and your uh, silver clad at the same time. Okay, what we have here are two bowls of pennies that I have collected while metal detecting. And you guys can see these things are pretty nasty, dirty. These have not been washed. These are directly out of the ground and thrown into container after my hunts. So there's 50 in each. And uh, just to keep this uh, experiment uh, completely in control here, we're going to use the equal amounts of pennies. And put them into the tumbler there. And just to help with the agitation, uh, we are going to use some aquarium gravel. I use this uh, every time that I clean the coins. It just helps them, uh, the, the gravel grinds against it and just helps uh, get them cleaner. So we're just going to put a handful of the gravel in each of those. Okay, the fun part now is putting in the ketchup and the Coke. Um, and I've been debating on um, how we're exactly going to do this we are not going to dilute uh, any of these products inside with the coins. We're going to pour them right in, seal them up, throw them on the tumbler. All right, we've got those loaded up. I put about 16 ounces of the product in each of them. I've got Coke on the left. I've got uh, uh, ketchup on the right. And we're going to throw it on here and uh, let this thing do its magic. All right, so I just had a little uh, interesting incident that just occurred. Let me turn this off. So I just had an interesting incident that occurred. Uh, the container with the Coke um, 
had built up so much pressure from the carbonation that it was ready to explode. So on two separate occasions, um, I had to open up the container, let out the pressure, and in fact, I ended up pouring about half of the Coke product out of the container to avoid that pressure buildup. So I learned something new today. Uh, don't make that same mistake. 16 ounces of Coke is too much to go in that uh, closed container, agitated, and uh, all that pressure building up. But uh, right now we're going to go ahead and pull these off of the tumbler. We're going to rinse them off in a colander and then compare them, see which one did better. All right, one on the left was Coke, one on the right was ketchup. We're gonna start with the Coke. Let's bring it over to the colander here. We'll get this thing opened up and rinsed off. We've got a, uh, a bowl underneath so we don't lose any of the aquarium gravel down the drain. All right, let's check on it first. Very, very dirty, um, but let's rinse. Let's grab the ketchup container now. This one's gonna be kind of interesting. I'm not sure what to expect once I open this up. We have ketchup inside. <laughs> Put some water, try and dilute that up a little bit. Well, my first initial assessment is both of the containers clean the coins. They are clean enough that I feel I can take them back to the bank, so that's a win for us for sure. But in looking at them individually, the Coke uh, cleaned off the, the, the dirt, but really didn't shine them up. When I went back and looked at uh, the ketchup pennies, wow, those things really shined up a uh, nice light color. Um, they definitely are shinier, but now they also have a little bit of a pink tint to them. So the, uh, the pennies themselves definitely look different than a nice shiny penny, but they are a lot cleaner than the one with, one with the Coke. I'm gonna go ahead and give this win to the ketchup this time. Even though the Coke did well, I think the ketchup cleaned it up a lot better. If you guys really enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I truly do appreciate that. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well. And there's a couple of videos that just came up here. Please continue to watch those videos. I hope that you enjoyed them. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next adventure. Take care.